was it going guys? We are out at SEMA 2022. I'm anticipating there to be a decent amount of new GR86s and BRZs. So we're gonna try and find them all and pick out our top five. This was a car that I was looking forward to seeing this year. It is sporting the Super GT kit that was a collaboration between Sabre Designs and Driven Mind. This is the same carbon fiber lip that's on my GR86 besides the huge splitter, of course. But this kit was inspired by the GR86 GT300 that was unveiled this year at Tokyo Auto Salon. They did a fantastic job of incorporating similar body lines to give it that race inspired appearance. Guys, look at how massive this wing is. Walking past the HKS booth, this car demands your attention. It has the iconic HKS livery, the immaculate wide body, and those white GT Beyonds that I'm a huge fan of. This is the type of car that you just dream of building growing up. And it's a build that you expect to see at SEMA. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's also sporting their supercharger kit that makes 300 crank horsepower. So that's a nice bump over stock. And they have some new goodies for us over here as well. We've got some new engine internals for the FA24 to convert it to a 2.5 liter. So stroker crank, pistons, rods, head gaskets. Super cool to see this. And I'm curious on how it affects the new engine. And down here, we have a prototype intake that they're working on. This not only utilizes the stock snorkel, but also has its own built-in that goes to the front of the car. At the Toyota booth, we have Larry Chen's car featured. This is the epitome of full bolt-ons. He has pretty much every single bolt-on part you can get for this car, about $80,000 worth of parts. So things like the full HKS kit, StopTech big brake kit front and rear, the HKS supercharger, so he's pushing about 300 horsepower. And what's cool is I know he actually takes this out and uses it. He took it out drifting before this event. And if that wasn't enough, he even has a replica inside the car of this exact car. If you haven't already seen, Toyota is doing a GR Cup Series in North America. This is the official GR86 test car. It's a little bit different than the production models, as you can see. The biggest differences are going to be uh, the Bosch ECU. This is putting out 228 horsepower. You've got the Sadev six-speed sequential transmission, so you're going to be banging through those gears. The interior, of course, is stripped out and caged. Gazoo Racing has pretty much touched every aspect of this car to turn it into a true red race car. I cannot wait to follow along on this series, but if uh, you guys, one of you guys happen to have a couple hundred thousand dollars laying around that you can loan me, maybe we can jump in one of these cars and go for that one million dollar purse. We're over at the Sabon booth. You guys know them for their beautiful carbon pieces. They've got this BRZ completely decked out. In the front, of course, we have their FA style hood with the hood scoop and vents. Down here, we have their carbon fiber front lip with the aggressive end plates. And of course, we have these carbon fiber ducts that I think a lot of people are gonna be big fans of. Coming over to the side, we have what I think is gonna be the most popular piece. This is their carbon fiber fender garnish. It really accents the functional vents that are built into these cars. And we have the side skirt that goes all the way back as well. What I love about these side skirts is they follow this body line of the car and fill in this gap. And it just, it looks super aggressive. I love that they continued that design all the way back into this rear diffuser piece that contours across the whole bumper. It, it looks insane. This is probably my favorite piece on the car, but we also can't forget about the carbon fiber trunk with the duckbill built in that completes the whole look. This is definitely unique. It's the first all electric GR86 or BRZ. The FA24 is no longer in here. As you can see, they swapped it with a Hypercraft Stealth EV electric motor that puts out 328 horsepower and 345 pound feet of torque. The interior is all gutted, caged. We've got Olin's big brake kit, all the aero. It's a proper race car. It also has all the safety features to go along with the electric stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering how much this thing weighs because electric cars usually tend to be on the heavier side, but it only weighs 3,040 pounds. So that's about 200, 250 pounds more than stock, but you get over hundred more horsepower and a substantial increase in torque.
The Artisan Spirits kit on this car is absolutely gorgeous. The carbon details, the fitment, it's all spot on. The attention to detail is just spectacular. I love the hood design as well. It's aggressive, but not too over the top. This honestly might be, actually no, it is my favorite wide body kit of the show for these cars. And of course, we've also got some Advan R6s on here to top it all off. Mackin usually has some of the best builds displayed at their booth, and this, this is no exception. As always at the Mackin booth, we've got some new wheels to check out. This is their new mock yellow finish available on the CR and DR wheels. I could really see this popping on a white or black car. So if you're looking for something flashy, these are gonna be a good option. Over at the G025, we have another new finish. This is their dark amber coating. It's almost got a chameleon, a gunmetal chameleon effect to it. It's subtle and pretty much the opposite of the flashy mock yellow. This is another one of my favorites. It's got the Street Hunter wide body kit on it, and it's paired with a classic Millennium Jade Green wrap. The body lines on this kit are so sharp and aggressive, yet it has this sleek look that I love. We've got these HRE wheels with deep bronze dishes. That bronze color matches up perfectly with this Jade Green. And I know wide body kits can sometimes become overplayed, but I think this is just about right. This has got to be another top five. This UR86 is featured in the Toyo booth. Not only is it running the Street Hunter wide body, it also has the RS Future Aero that's going to be functional and looks amazing as well. We have the massive chassis mount rear wing, the front splitter and side skirts automatically just grab your attention. And of course, we have these deep dish three-piece Workmeisters wrapped in some Toyos. Just looking at this thing, it's the perfect blend of a show car and track car with the performance aspect as well. It's completely gutted inside with a cage and some Recaros. It just looks damn good. That's gonna be a wrap for SEMA 2022, guys. There were a ton of GR86s and BRZs as expected. Different wide body kits, lift kits, performance parts. It's really given me inspiration for my own build, which I don't know if it's a good thing or not. I might end up spending way more money than I should, but let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite build? Comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.